Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, American version, short movie review. Michael Blomqvist has a bit of legal troubles because he printed a story which he couldn't quite prove about a corporation, a corporate leader. He is now out of money practically and he's offered a lot of money for solving a 40 year old case of a disappearing teenager by the retiring head of the Vanga concern. Along the way he is aided by the goth hacker Lisbeth Salander and together they go about seeing if they can't piece together what actually happened. I hadn't expected that this would be the case but this is actually the superior film to the Swedish one. This is not a remake of the Swedish film, it is a fresh adaptation of the novel. It includes stuff from the novel that the Swedish does not and this actually adds to it. For example, Mikael Blomqvist has a daughter in this film and this adds to this kind of, you know, it, it makes it more personal that, you know, he's investigating the case of a missing, of a girl gone missing and you know, he's wondering, could this happen to my little girl? Lisbeth Salander is a far more interesting character in this, and Rooney Mara is Lisbeth Salander. She has the mannerisms down, and just, we get far more emotionally connected to this character, and we see her as a full human being far more in this movie. The mystery is quite good. There are some hints towards what's actually going on, but I'm not sure they're clear enough that you could actually piece it together without, you know, un unless you already know. The acting is great. Excuse me, the characters are interesting, excuse me, and memorable. This juggles more characters be better, excuse me. The production values are of course better with this having a higher budget and it really helps make the film more have more of an impact. Anything that is strong and effective in the Swedish original is present and almost always more effective in this movie. Absolutely nothing was cut to appease, you know, this is not trying to Americanize it and make it more pleasant. Not at all. It is still very brutal, tense, very, very disturbing film. The ending is phenomenal. The score is great. If I had to say one bad thing about this movie, it's that they... One thing is that it's shot in Sweden and that's fine to, you know, authenticity and all that, but they go so far as to have them say the names and words the way they're pronounced in Swedish. So it's not Michael Blomquist, it's Mikael Blomquist. And everyone tries for a Swedish accent. And I'm not sure any of them do particularly well at it. It's kind of awkward and definitely takes getting used to. But on the whole, this movie beats the Swedish original on almost everything and the few places where it isn't quite as good are so few and so unimportant that this just wins hands down. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.